What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to the DAP Central YouTube channel. As a part of today's video, I want to do a brief demo and review of the official Liquid Finance DAP. Now, this is going to be on the official preview testnet for Cardano. And again, as you guys are probably familiar, I'll be leaving the links to everything that I discuss in today's video down in the description below. If it's your first time hearing about Liquid, they're going to be a lending and borrowing protocol built on Cardano. Now, they aim to provide users on their platform with the ability to earn interest, borrow assets, and build on the most hydrated liquidity protocol on Cardano. Now, they offer four core features. And as a part of today's video, we're going to be talking about or highlighting two of them. So the first is going to be the ability to lend on their platform. As it states here, QADA holders or ADA suppliers can earn both interest and Cardano staking rewards from the ADA's market liquid staking properties. Second, we're going to be talking about borrowing on the platform and you can borrow any assets supported by the protocol against your Q token. Now, this is going to happen instantly with no trading fees and no slippage. So keep in mind, first things first, you have to lend ADA, you'll then receive Q ADA, and then you can then take that Q ADA to actually borrow other assets that will be listed on their platform. The third key feature, which is not going to be one that we cover today, but I do want to bring this to you guys' attention, is going to be the farming feature. So LQ tokens are rewarded to borrowers and suppliers as a part of the community distribution allocation. And then very lastly, they have a staking mechanism as well. And as it states here, voting power and staking rewards are enabled by staking LQ in the liquid governance portal. If you scroll down just a little bit here on their website, you can explore different markets, and then you can also get access to all their proposals by using this all proposals button here, which will take you to their proposals portal. Now, before we go any further, I do want to highlight the fact that my goal here is to provide everyone within the Cardano community with the latest news tutorials and reviews for the top projects building on Cardano. If you guys want to help me out on my mission to educate the broader Cardano community, then I ask that you kindly consider delegating with the official DAP Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. It really does go a long way, and I want to thank you guys in advance. Now that we have that out of the way, let me jump back over into this article here, which was released not too long ago when the actual testnet kicked off. So this is going to be highlighting all the different features that are available on the testnet. And again, I do urge you guys to go ahead and use the links down in the description below in order to get access to the testnet and for you guys to test all of this out on your own. So it says here, the liquid public testnet includes the following features, support for NAMI, Flint, and Jira wallet. So these are three pretty common wallets that we have seen on the majority of test nets. We have the likes of Yoroi, in addition to that Daedalus and Lace um, wallet, which will be coming online. So hopefully once this goes live on the main net, we'll also see adoption of those particular wallets. Next, we have the ability to lend ADA to the Cardano market and mint Q ADA. And this is going to be where interest accrual actually begins. After that, we can borrow ADA against our Q ADA collateral at the given market rate. They've also got a feature for light and dark modes and low transaction fees to lend and borrow. Now, they're also working on additional few features that will be shipped once they actually go live on the mainnet, which includes the Liquid DAO, which is, again, their governance portal for on-chain voting and delegation. They're also going to have an Oracle price feed integration, as well as a liquidation system integration and a load wallet support, as well as a batcher node. In conclusion, that's going to be all of the different features that we have. And I do want to just quickly note that this team has undergone a code audit very recently, which has passed by Vacuum Labs. So we will be seeing them launch on the mainnet very, very shortly. Now that we have that all out of the way, we're going to head over into the actual preview testnet, which can be accessed by accessing preview-testnet.liquid. Dot finance. Again, check out the description down below for all the official links. From here, I've already got my test wallet set up. So if I click on this here, I just want to show you guys that I've got my NAMI wallet with 27,000 of the test ADA in it. I've also made sure to navigate and actually set this to connect to the preview test net. So definitely make sure that you're not on the main net or pre prod or the old test net. You're going to want to be on the preview test net. So that's going to be the first bit of thing. That's going to be the first thing that we need to do in order to get ready. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and select to connect our NAMI wallet. 
And as you guys can see, our NAMI wallet has now been connected. If at any point you want to disconnect your wallet, you can easily do so by clicking on this disconnect option. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And what we're going to now be presented with is the main page. Now from here, I'm um, just going to quickly review the user interface. We have everything that we are already supplying right now. As you guys can see, all of, all of my balances are currently set at zero. I'm not currently supplying anything. I can also see that I'm not borrowing anything at all. Again, keep in mind that in order for me to actually borrow, I first need to provide some uh, some supply. I'll then be handed over the QADA token, which I can then use to actually borrow on this platform. Now, in terms of assets that I can supply, I can see the total amount of test ADA that I have that I just showed you guys in my wallet, which is about 27,000 of the test ADA tokens. And then to the right of that, I have all the assets that I can borrow against, which again will be the ADA that I have right now. Um, and so let's quickly just walk through the process of actually lending, and then we'll be able to walk through the process of borrowing right after. So in order to supply, I'm going to click on this supply button here. Alternatively, I could click on the same supply button up here at the very top. Now, when you first actually access this app with the first time without any transactions being um, actually executed, this will actually be empty just like this right hand side is as well. I've been playing around with it a little bit, which is why this actually has all these zeros listed here. But again, if you're accessing this for the very, very first time, this entire section will be empty. So I'm going to click on supply. And from here, let's say that I want to supply 5,000 ADA. So as we can see that 5,000 ADA equals about $1,800 right now with the current price of ADA at about 40 cents per token. Having said that, I can see my max balance. If I want to lend or supply my entire balance, I can go ahead and click on this max button here. But again, for now, I'm just going to set this back to 5,000 ADA. I can see that the supply APY, which I'm going to be earning, is going to be at 0.16%. So not a huge APY, but again, um, it is better than zero. So again, just putting my ADA to work here. And I do also want to be clear that once you do supply ADA, that that ADA will then actually continue to earn staking rewards. So you'll still get your three to 4% ADA staking rewards on top of this APY here, um, again, which is 0.16%. I can also see the QADA exchange rate. So as I mentioned before, when you lend out on this platform, you'll be um, given the QADA token in exchange, which you can then use as collateral in order to borrow assets on the liquid finance protocol. Next, I can see that collateralization is enabled. And right now, I don't believe that there's a way for me to actually turn that off. Next, I'm going to click on supply ADA. And we're going to wait for this transaction to get processed. I believe I'll be prompted to actually sign it. So let me go ahead and do that very quickly. And I will catch up with you guys as soon as this transaction has been processed on the network. All right. It looks like the 5000 ADA has been processed and I can now see that my supply section has been updated to show the 5000 ADA that I just supplied now keep in mind that there was a small minor fee which is why it actually shows at four as four thousand nine hundred ninety nine but it is close enough to the original amount that i entered i can now see the apy which i am currently earning again that's also listed up here at the very top and if i want to i can actually withdraw that five thousand ada or any amount in between by using the withdraw ada button now i don't want to do that just yet i actually want to borrow against some of this ada that i've put up in terms of supply so in order to now go ahead and actually borrow i can first off see the apy that's going to be associated with any amount that i borrow and also keep in mind that right now I can only borrow the ADA token. So some of you may be wondering, you know, what's the point of me lending ADA to only turn back around and borrow it if I actually own the ADA token um, because I just put it up for supply, right? So keep in mind that as this protocol develops, we will have other tokens that you can borrow against by supplying ADA. So again, this is just a feature for the testnet. So next I'm going to click on borrow. And then from here, um, I have a limit in terms of my LTV or loan to value ratio of 75%. So whatever I put up here, which again, I put up about 5,000 ADA, I can borrow up to 75% of that 5,000 ADA value. So in this case, that equals 3,750 3, of the ADA tokens. Again, if I want to borrow the maximum amount, 
which will be that 75% of what I put up in terms of supply, I can click on this max button. Now, keep in mind here that if you are going to be borrowing the max amount, that it's not going to take a big downtrend in ADA to get you liquidated on the platform. So do be mindful of that. I personally would never vouch for you to borrow the maximum amount that you can on the platform just because it is available. You always want to make sure to leave a nice little cushion just in case the price of ADA falls a little bit more than you initially anticipated. So in order to test this out, let's go ahead and just borrow. 500 ADA, which is going to be about 10% of the total amount that I put up initially. So again, I put up a total of 5,000 ADA and what I want to do now is borrow 500. As we can see here, that's about $186 right now, given the price of ADA. And then I can now put up some actual collateral. Now, this is going to be an interesting part because this is going to dictate how quickly you can actually get liquidated. So here, um, now that I've earned about 250,000 of the Q ADA as a part of the 5,000 ADA that I supplied, I can actually go ahead and put up as much as I want here for collateral. Again, keep in mind that the Q ADA that I'm putting up has to be at minimum 75% of the value that I'm trying to borrow against. So in this case, let me put up 50,000. So I'm now putting up $373 worth of the Q ADA tokens and in exchange I'm borrowing $186 worth of ADA. Now right below here we can see my APY again which is going to be slightly higher given that I'm borrowing this time and not supplying and then I can also see my health factor which is going to be a ratio of 1.6. Now let's say that I actually want to bump this up to 75,000 Q ADA. We're going to see how that health factor actually changes. So as you guys can see here, now the health factor jumped from 1.6 to 2.4. Now the health factor again determines the rate or the um, point at which my account will actually be liquidated. So right now I have a health factor of 2.4, which means that I'm pretty safe here um, again in terms of getting liquidated. The closer I am to one, the riskier the loan is and the lower the actual health factor is again, pushing me closer to that liquidation point. So for now, I'm going to keep this at 50,000 and we're going to go ahead and borrow some ADA. I should be prompted to sign my transaction again. Let me just confirm this here. And we will let that get processed. Now, while this is processing, I do want to mention that when you go ahead and actually supply your ADA initially, you will receive the Q ADA tokens in your wallet. For some reason, it doesn't appear to actually be loading here within my wallet. So I do apologize. I can't actually show you the 250,000 Q ADA tokens, but you would expect to see your collateral token, which again is Q ADA directly within your NAMI wallet. So having said that, I'm going to let this transaction process and then we're going to pick back up as soon as it's done with the actual borrow. All right, the transaction for the borrow has been completed. And as we can see, our net APY has changed from earning us 0.16% to now um, us having to actually pay interest on a yearly basis. On top of that, we now have this health factor um, graph down here or this chart, which shows us the liquidation value again, which is going to be 1.0. And then we can see that our um, health is right now at about a ratio of 1.6. So we're doing pretty good, but this could be improved again by putting down more collateral in terms of the actual amount that we're borrowing. Now, if we look over here, we can see exactly how much we are in debt again, which is 500 ADA that we just borrowed. And then we can see the total APY that we are going to be paying back in terms of interest right here. If I want to borrow more, I can go ahead and walk through the same exact process. Now, as you'll notice here, it's already taking into account the 500 ADA that I've already borrowed. So this limit does take into account my previous debt. And then again, I can go ahead and provide how much Q ADA I want to put up as collateral, and then it will calculate the new health of the new loan. Now, let's say that I actually want to repay some of this back. I can go ahead and click on the repay button here. Again, I can click on this max option to pay the entire loan back. But if I want to pay just a portion, I can actually go ahead and supply the amount that I want to pay back. And then again, um, how much of the collateral I want to keep for the remaining loan portion. 
So let's go ahead and actually just pay back just a little bit. We're going to pay back about half of the ADA and let's actually just put down a lot more collateral. That way we're not having to worry about getting liquidated. So I'm going to put down all of my collateral and I'm going to actually pay back a little bit of the loan. So as you guys will see here, the loan uh, health factor will now shoot up from 1.6 to 15. So this is going to be a much bigger cushion. Um, and it almost kind of guarantees that I will not be liquidated unless the price of ADA falls down dramatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on repay. And I'm going to sign this transaction. And I'm going to go ahead and just quickly confirm. And we'll pick back up as soon as this transaction has been processed on chain. All right, we are back. As you guys can see, the transaction has been processed and I've repaid my 250 ADA. If I want to actually see all the details about this transaction, I can click on this link here, which will take me to C Explorer, where I can actually verify the entire transaction values. Jumping back into the actual liquid app, I'm going to close this out. And as you guys can see, my borrow balance has now been reduced dramatically. And I can now see that my health factor has turned green with a value of 16. So again, this is a really big cushion preventing me from getting liquidated over the long term. And then I can also see that my net APY is barely in the negative. So that is going to be it. Now I'm just going to quickly go ahead and repay the entire loan. And then we're going to go ahead and get back out of the actual ADA that we're currently supplying. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to repay and click on this max option here. I'm going to click on repay all. And I'm going to sign this transaction once more. And we'll wait for this to get verified on the network. And just like that, I have now repaid all of the 500 ADA that I initially borrowed. So as you guys can see now, the borrow balance is back to zero and the net APY is back in the positive. Again, it's not a huge number, but it is earning me something over the course of the year. If I jump back over here, I can see that my balance again is back up to 5,000 with my APY listed here. And I currently have zero collateral actually being used up. So I still have all the 250,000 of the QADA tokens if I want to take another loan or borrow against another asset. So the very last thing I want to do now is actually withdraw the amount that we initially supplied. So I'm going to click on withdraw and I'm going to go ahead and click on max and I'm going to go ahead and click on withdraw ADA. I'm going to confirm my transaction and we're going to wait for this to get processed on chain. As you guys can see here, the withdrawal transaction has finished processing. I'm going to go ahead and click on close. Now, one thing that I did notice is that the net APY should go back down to zero. Um, so it is still stuck at 0 0.16 um, and I'm not actually providing anything right so that is just a minor minor issue that i did notice there but as you guys can see my balance is back up if i jump into my wallet i can confirm that i'm back to my twenty-seven thousand ada and again unfortunately my tokens are not loading but i should no longer have any q ada within my testnet wallet so that is going to do it for today's video in which we've talked about liquid finance and all the different um, applications that you guys can actually go through and use on their platform. Again, keep in mind that this is on the preview test net and they just underwent and passed an audit by Vacuum Labs. So I believe sometime in February, we will be seeing the liquid protocol coming on the mainnet. And as you guys know, as soon as that news breaks, I will have you guys covered. In closing of today's video, if you guys found any of this information to be helpful, it would really go a long way if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself, then make sure you leave a comment down below. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to contribute to my mission to educate people within the Cardano community space, then consider staking with the official DAP Central Stake Pool. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening, depending on where you're watching this from. And I will see you all in the next video.